Temps are going to be changing up now that we've got our next tropical depression three here that has taken shape just off the coastline of Florida and it's really creating some unsettled weather along the peninsula. So they've seen a sharp increase in those scattered thunderstorms as this low is still brewing to the east of the peninsula. But this is anticipated to move northward, likely to become a tropical storm, reaching those winds at about 40 miles an hour during the day on Saturday. But it will quickly fall apart as it pushes into south. Carolina and it will become a low an area of low pressure that will ride across North Carolina into Virginia. So that means our rain chances will gradually go up because of that through the weekend. Here's our timeline though Saturday waking up with some uh, sunshine and looking at mainly dry skies on our Saturday. Those winds will persist out of the east. That's going to help to keep coastal areas slightly cooler as we go into Saturday night. We're going to know some clouds trying to pinwheel on in here through the day on Sunday. Then we're going to get those initial bands that will Give us a little bit of that tropical moisture and some thunderstorm activity, probably as soon as lunchtime. And then it looks like it fills in a little bit more heading towards that two, three o'clock hour on Sunday. And then once it arrives, it's going to keep our weather unsettled through Sunday night into Monday morning. Just some scattered showers. It's not looking like a solid um, wall of rain. So that is the good scenario. So uh, not all of us will experience that wet weather. But as we go into Monday afternoon, Monday night, I think it'll begin to wind down, pull away, and then a cold front will help to push it on out of here and then that's going to be our weather situation that we'll contend with by midweek of next week into the latter half. So rain chances will drastically go up because of the cold front more so than that tropical disturbance.